All right, guys, I am very, very excited because I have got the Chatterbait Weedless Project Z series uh, bladed jigs, okay? I have not used these before. I'm actually a very um, moderate, not even a moderate uh, bladed jig fisherman. I, I've hardly thrown them. So um, there's, you know, I've, I've got a lot to learn. I'm not gonna act like I'm some expert here, but we've got to uh, tie one of these on and I'm opening this thing up. It's not the, I don't know what's going on here. All the packaging nowadays is super sophisticated and you gotta be smarter than, the, look at this thing, opens up. You gotta be smarter than packaging. Look at how beautiful this bait is, by the way. Um, I'm gonna make sure I'm, look at this thing. It's, uh, okay, so how is this blade in here? There, you gotta be, okay, now it's coming through. We're getting it, guys. There it is. Look at how great this bait looks. Controlling the kayak. Look at this thing. Oh my goodness, that thing looks awesome. But most uh, bladed jigs do not have a weed guard like this. And on the river here, wood is super, super important when you're fishing for smallmouth. I love fishing wood on the river for smallmouth. And I couldn't, especially like in a kayak, if you get snagged, it's such a pain in the butt uh, going up and unsnagging. So typically, I'm using a spinnerbait, which is a lot more uh, weedless than a bladed jig. Most bladed jigs don't have a weed guard. So I saw this uh, at a uh, tackle shop recently. And I was like, I gotta try that with the weed guard. You know, shooting, you know, if you're just kind of new to this channel, I'm, I'm a freelance videographer. I shoot for Major League Fishing. And so many of those guys on that, uh, you know, on the Bass Pro Tour and the Invitationals throw a, a, a bladed jig. It's such a productive lure and it just keeps on catching fish. When it first came on the scene, it was just crazy how the, it was catching fish. Well, it keeps on catching fish. So um, I just wanna fish this style of bait more. And the, the fact that this has a weed guard on it now, I think I can do that more um, on the river with all this cover. So we're gonna tie this on right now. Actually, let me, um, I, I'm gonna pair this up with the Z-Man 10 times stuff, uh, tough Elaztec chatter spikes. These are specifically uh, built for chatter baits, okay? For this particular, um, I mean, it's built for any kind of bladed jig, but specifically this is a Z-Man, this is a Z-Man, so they built it for their chatter baits. And what I'm really loving is all the packaging now with soft plastics is just coming, uh, it's, it's coming with this plastic kind of tray, I guess we'll call it, that keeps these plaques, uh, plastics from keeping you know, it keeps them uh, hold their shape when they're in the packaging. And I really, really love that. But look at this thing, that's pretty awesome. This has got like, it's got like these, I don't know what you would call that. It's just got like, <laughs> I don't know what that is, but there's, it's gonna make that thing, it's gonna give it more action. Um, I gotta come up with a name for that. But that's really, really cool just kind of cut in a way that it's going to give that thing it's just less plastic and it's going to make that tail move with a with a bladed jig you don't want any kind of curl tail you want a straight tail all the action is coming from this blade right here you don't want anything that's going to impede that action okay so this blade is where all the action's coming from you want that trailer to you know you don't want a curl tail or anything you just want a straight tail uh, straight tail uh, trailer and that thing's just gonna be going crazy in the back. So let's rig this up. This is a Laztec, so it's a different kind of plastic. It's kind of it's kind of different. I don't have a ton of experience with it. We're gonna kind of line it up right here. Let's see where that is there. Okay. Gonna get an idea how I want that. And let's do this. It's really kind of like bouncy. I don't know like <laughs> bouncy material it's just like you you stick the hook point through and it just like bounces back so you got to really force it in there and they come out right there i think all right what i also noticed too is that there's a um hook slot here 
and that just makes it so there's less plastic the hook has to go through. It's just a great design. That's very common now I'm seeing in plastic, soft plastics. So now we're going to bring this all the way through, like so. All right. And that looks pretty darn good right there. And there is your finished product. So we'll get this tied on and start catching some giant smallmouth, hopefully. What in the, look at that, that bait just busted, completely broke. That is un, <laughs> unacceptable. What in the world? Well, that doesn't, uh, that doesn't make me a, a happy camper. <laughs> what in the world? That is never, I don't think that's ever happened to me on a, on a lure, like a failure like that. That's a brand new bait and it just failed. Wow. That really sucks. That small mouse got that in its mouth. Oh, wow, that, uh, that is not good, Chatterbait. Not good, Z-Man. That is just, that's wild. Brand new bait and that happened. So I'm opening up this package here. And, for, you know, this new bait. And the failure happened. The failure happened. So this is all I had left of the, of the bait. That's all I had left. And so this didn't fail. Okay, that didn't fail. The blade didn't fail. It's just, I just don't understand how that happened. If that didn't break, you know, because you see where the blade is attached here, somehow it just, it came off the the jig portion. But how did it come off if it's not busted through here? I am so, so very, very, very confused. Hmm. You tie it on right here, right there. And God, that's really, really bizarre. So I'll tie this on. I, I just, I've, you know, I've never had that happen, like a brand new lure. Haven't even made that many casts with it. And just to, just to lose a fish like that, you know, it's not like this is a, this is a premium bait, you know, this isn't a cheap lure. I'm just kind of flabbergasted right now. We'll tie this back on. Oh, and get back to it. I have no idea. Oh, I just missed one right there. Oh. I'm a little concerned. I don't have enough experience with this yet, but I'm a little concerned this this weed guard is preventing fish from getting it, that if this was a spinner bait or just a regular chatter bait without a weed guard, that they would be getting it. So that's a, that's a huge issue if that's the case. Ow, dang it. So, I'm thinking this 
this weed guard is uh, is preventing these fish from getting hooked, and that, that's a that's a real big issue. Um, if this was if this was a spinner bait, you know, with just an open hook here, I think those fish would would be hooked. But because of this brush guard, I mean, I'm really worried that it's preventing these fish from getting hooked, you know. And when you're just reeling this in, just like a regular chatterbait, you would hope that these fish are, you know, if you're fishing a chatterbait or a spinnerbait, those fish are basically setting, you know, the hook themselves when they grab it, you know, because you're moving the bait and they just, they get hooked. But with this weed guard, I don't know. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove some of these suckers. I'm going to take half of them. I'm going to cut half of them off and just see if that helps. Clean that up just a little bit here. All right, so I cut half of that weed guard down and maybe that'll, that'll work better, hopefully. Dang, that was another fish right there. <sighs> if that was a spinner bait or a regular chatter bait without a weed guard, I would have that fish. Oh, my Lord. I tell you, I just, I, I feel like I'm getting all kinds of bites and I just can't hook up. <laughs> I just can't hook up whatsoever. So I am going to just take this weed guard off. I don't, I mean, this is, I don't know. I mean, this is a big bait, but trust me, I use big spinner baits all the time on the river. And it's not that big a bait. This is a 3 8 ounce. Um, you know, it's not crazy. I don't know if they're it's just if I cut down the weed guard by half. So now we're taking it fully off. I <laughs> just it's too frustrating. It's I don't know if this is the problem, but if we take this off completely and we start catching them, you know, then then we're going to know. You know, we start hooking them. Is that right there was another that was another fish that got off um, that, you know, it's just, it, I had to, it's now a, <laughs> a non-weedless, it's just a regular chatterbait now. Let's just clean this up as much as possible because I'm a freak. All right. All righty. Now at least my confidence is going to be up. Of course, my confidence will go into the toilet if I get snagged immediately, but uh, let's see what happens. There's one. Got him. Got him. And look, he's hooked. Oh my goodness. Get in here. Oh my gosh, he's not a big one, but it's a small mouth, and boy, have I had to work hard for this fish. Oh, unbelievable. Golly. This bait, I'm just... I mean, he's he's hooked, and he's hooked good. <laughs> oh my goodness! Jeez. I I don't know. I I I think I think that weed guard is the problem. 
You know, that wasn't a big fish. He got it, all of it, you know? I think that weed guard is really the issue. I was so hopeful, you know, that man, a chatterbait, a weedless chatterbait, you could throw it all over the place, still has that action, the chatterbait. I was just, I, you know, probably too good to be true. You know, there might be a way that, you know, it, it works if you're fishing it more like a jig and on a heavier rod and you're almost pitching with it. And, and you know, when they grab it, you can really uh, lay the steel to them, but uh, you can't, you can't use, I mean, I don't think you can, again, I've only fished one day with it. I don't think you can fish the, this, uh, you know, what's the technical term here? It's the Weedless Project Z, did you see it there? The Weedless Project Z series, Z-Man Chatterbait. I just, I don't think you can fish it like a spinnerbait. You know, or, re or a regular chatterbait. I think you've got to almost like use it like a jig on a heavier rod, and when they grab it, you just you just really set the hook hard. I don't think you could just you know cast at targets, reel, you know, do a steady retrieve, and you know when that's happening with a regular spinnerbait, regular chatterbait, you know, they're setting the hook themselves. I don't think they're doing that with this with this weed guard, unfortunately. So really, really disappointing. There's one. God, it's a better fish too. Oh, isn't that something? That weed guard just ain't ain't the deal. You cannot have that weed guard on there. Oh my goodness. That is so interesting. Yeah, that's just not gonna do it. Well, how many fish did I miss that if I didn't have that weed guard on there? You know, I mean, earlier, I mean, this could have been a much different different day. I've been really grinding her out. I mean, that fish was hooked well. Fish was hooked well. God darn it. You know, hard lessons. What are you going to do? There is a good one right there. That is a big fish right there. That is a big fish right there. Oh, stay on, baby. Stay on, stay on, stay on, stay on. Oh my gosh. Stay on, stay on. Oh, that's a good fish right there. Stay on, baby. Yeah. God dang it. Oh, I am not in a good situation here. Oh, get out. Oh, this is not a good situation right here. Uh, uh, that is a good fish. Uh, yes. Uh, get in here. Yes. Oh. You talk about working for him and uh, and learning about a bait. You cannot cannot have a weed guard on a chatterbait. <laughs> Look at this fish. See? He's hooked. See? He's hooked. Can't have a weed guard. Oh, yes! What an absolute beautiful smallmouth. Oh my gosh, just as the sun's going down. Oh, July in Minnesota. Smallmouth on the Mississippi. I love you. That is going to be the ending fish. Wow. All I can say is wow. No weed guards on the chatterbait, y'all.
reply, sweetheart. <laughs>